Welcome to my Senna Guide, where I show you the tips and tricks on how to carry a Senna. But before we begin, here's a cringy Senna montage. Senna's passive is Absolution. You can build these stacks at a long range by shooting through minions. Landing two abilities or two auto attacks on the same champion will rip out their soul. This has a short cooldown so switch which targets you're focusing to rip as many souls out as possible. This is where a majority of Senna's damage comes from. When you rip a soul out of a target it deals significant bonus damage that scales throughout the game. You want to spend the majority of the game focused on building as many stacks as possible. Every 20 stacks will permanently increase your range, which is necessary for stomping in the late game. Piercing Darkness deals damage and heals allies at the same time. For this reason, it's really important that you line up your shots. You also stack your Eternal by landing Qs indirectly, so make sure you're farming that awesome mastery upgrade. You can shoot through minions and wards, so throw down a ward for clutch last minute shots. Senna's W is her primary CC ability and what makes her a catch-out champion. Try to land as many of these as you can in a single game. You can also avoid the stun windup by killing a minion with your W. People will try to hide behind minions to avoid your stun, so wait for one to die and get them at the last second. This ability is broken. It's not only an AoE stealth, but it's an AoE movement speed increase for everyone it touches, which is essential for kiting and chasing. Don't forget that they can only see the dot for Senna, so all of your allies while they're inside of your circle are 100% invisible. This makes it so much easier to land skill shots, and it's an incredible escape tool for you and your teammates. Use it to engage, use it to retreat, or just use it for a flat movement speed increase to make it easier to attack move. Senna's ultimate is a global ability. It has a narrow range that deals damage and a wide range that applies a healing shield to your allies. Use this ability to snipe kills across the map or to give an ally just enough shielding to survive and engage. The way that you stack this eternal is by getting a kill within three seconds of landing your ultimate so make sure you're using it at clutch moments. You need to constantly be checking the map to see if there are engagements in which you could change the tides with your ult. You also want to be trying to hit as many targets and allies at the same time for the maximum output for a single cast. The basic concept is simple, you need to be moving in between each of your auto attacks. This is especially important for Senna, but it's important for every character in the game. Let's check out a pro player and see how they position in the skirmish. One thing you'll notice is that even though Senna is completely committed to the fight, she keeps backing up to make sure she's in an optimal position to keep doing damage but stay safe at the same time. The general rule for any ADC is to always be attacking the target closest to you. By moving in between auto attacks, not only does he dodge the skill shot, but he's able to finish the kill on Ash. 
Senna is so easy to one-shot, so make sure you're hiding behind your teammates to get off free damage. In this clip, you can see the importance of positioning at low health. Senna gets blown up by the Diana by standing in front. She just used all of her major cooldowns to stay alive. But as an auto-attack based champion, she still has a lot to contribute to her team. Watch how Bang masterfully lands his skills and continues to auto-attack while staying alive. Notice how Bang built the support item? This is a new pro strat called Fasting Senna. You just play Senna's support in the ADC role. However, you give up your CS in the early game to a support with high CC until you finish upgrading your support item. When your support is CSing, make sure to harass your opponent for free stacks of your passive. Remember, you're the ADC, so you gotta build damage. Perfection. <laughs> Pause the screen here if you need to take a better look. Now I'm going to show you how to ward like a big boy. Look at how much control SKT has over this jungle. Red wards are permanent, meaning that the enemy team needs to push into the jungle to clear out those wards. SKT now also knows for a fact that there are no wards in that jungle. This isn't even including the 10 other wards that should also be placed on the map at the same time. Wards are a great way to carry games and they're everyone's responsibility. Carries go blue trinket, supports and junglers go red trinket. Use it on cooldown. I really appreciate you checking out my guide. See you soon.